A very chilling story that is emerging from Hyderabad. While the trial for the gruesome Shraddha Walkar murder case is underway, in an unfortunate turn of events, police have now confirmed a similar horrific murder in Hyderabad. Police said that the accused Chandra Mohan had killed the 55-year-old Anuradha Reddy by stabbing her and later cutting her body into several pieces for disposal. He went on to keep the leg to keep the limbs in the fridge and the body in the suitcase. This comes days after the Hydra, Hyderabad police released the photo of the face of a woman whose decapitated head they found in the banks of River Musi. It's the police that has gone ahead and investigated this case with multiple teams that were formed to probe this case. And I'm being joined by my colleague Uma Sudhi right now. Uma, uh, the, the Shraddha Valkar case currently is under trial, horrifying case, and to think another similar case uh, has now emerged from Hyderabad. Yes, indeed. Uh, you would think that, you know, when uh, people read the details of such case, they would be afraid of the law and not uh, be inspired instead by it. And in this particular case, it appears that this uh, person who is the accused in this case, uh, Chandra Mohan, he has in fact uh, studied in detail not, uh, not just how to murder a person, but also how to chop her into pieces and then store her in a refrigerator, show, store the body parts in a refrigerator and subsequently dispose of. And all through this, he seems to have maintained quite a very calm demeanor, I must say, and he was even using the cell phone of the victim in this case uh, to send messages to her contacts to make it seem as though she had just gone away somewhere else and was living safely elsewhere. Uh, just to point out, this is an uh, area in Hyderabad called Chaitanya Puri where uh, this lady was a tenant in the home of this uh, person, 48-year-old accused. And what we understand is that in 2018, he had borrowed about 7 lakh rupees as loan from her. And subsequently, uh, COVID and otherwise, he also dealt with the stock market. He seems to have suffered losses. And when she started asking for the money back, he was not able to repay it. And he was irritated by her uh, constantly asking him. And that's one reason we are told that he decided to do away with her and in fact stabbed her on the uh, chest and the stomach and killed her and brought stone cutters in fact to cut her uh, body into six pieces. The first time that this uh, murder actually came to light was when the decapitated head was found on the banks of the river Musi and then in fact the police had uh, put them out, put out notices with that face saying can anyone recognize this woman? Have you seen her anywhere? Can anyone identify her? And it is after all that process that they looked at CCTV footage as well. Must point out that Hyderabad is one of those uh, places in the country with the maximum number of CCTV uh, cameras everywhere. And that was used to uh, see this guy actually physically bringing that uh, head there and flinging it into the Musi River. It seems to have been got washed ashore. And subsequently... That was my colleague Uma Sudhi reporting from Hyderabad of another very chilling case that did emerge very similar to the horrifying Shraddha Varkar murder case. Uma, you were explaining about how the body uh, was found from Musi River. Yes, indeed. Uh, the body, in fact, the torso was found wrapped in a polythene and kept inside a suitcase ready for disposing of. What it meant was that this man had decided that he will uh, take his time to dispose of the body. So he had sent, away, uh, he had, uh, uh, you know, uh, did away with the head first and subsequently had kept ready the torso in a suitcase, perhaps next to be taken away. And in the house, inside her own refrigerator, he had kept both her hands and legs and he was using, in fact, a perfume and a room spray to try and avoid any kind of a smell so that, uh, you know, neighbors don't suspect anything. His own mother and neighbors, no one suspected anything at all, uh, anything amiss with this. But uh, certainly, uh, you know, uh, yeah, one must uh, say that the police acted uh, with a lot of, uh, 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 with a lot of, uh, uh, um, should I say, detailing. And to be able to crack this case, uh, the earliest actually, I must say, because they had looked at CCTV footage for about seven days between 10th and 17th, after which all these details came to light. And uh, we now know who the accused is, but not yet formally being told that he is in custody. Back to you.